Once upon a time there was Maya, a pretty young woman who lived in a faraway forest. She lived in a small wooden house with her parents and her little sister Clara. Every day the animals came to see her in the garden and Maya loved spending time with them. One day her little sister and parents fell seriously ill. Maya was sad and didn't know what to do. She decided to leave and go look for help. Her journey through the forest was full of obstacles, but thanks to the help of her animal friends, she managed to reach the big city. It was the first time she went there and at first frightened by the noises, the crowd and the huge houses, she was then attracted by the smells, lights and colors. She stopped passers-by everywhere to explain her problem and find a healer. After a long time, a woman finally advised her to try to access the castle and that maybe they could help her there. Maya asked the castle guards if she could enter but they didn't listen to her at all. Worse, they made fun of her. But she persevered even though tears ran down her cheeks. After endless minutes, a handsome young man came up to talk to her and asked why she looked so sad. Maya then told him all about her adventures. Her sick family, crossing the forest, discovering the city. The young man smiled at her and said, My name is Tom and I am the prince of this castle. Come with me. I will help you. He ordered firmly for the guards to move aside and they entered into the immense castle. Tom and Maya arrived in front of an old healer with a white beard. Maya then explained what had led her here. The healer knew well the disease that Maya told him about and quickly concocted a potion to cure them. The prince then took Maya on his big white horse that galloped as fast as possible to join her family. She hurried to give them the potion and what a surprise it was when, after a few moments, they regained their health. The whole family hugged each other tightly. To thank him, they invited Prince Don to dinner. They all spent one of the best evenings of their lives together and everyone could see that a love between Maya and Tom was being born. After a few weeks and especially many moments spent together, Maya left her family to go live in the castle with Tom and become the princess of the kingdom. They got married, lived happily ever after and visited Maya's family and the animals in the forest very often. Once upon a time there were two friends, Emma and Ryan. They lived in a small village and had been inseparable since they were very young. They had grown up together and shared everything, from their toys to their most intimate secrets. Emma was a lively and curious little girl, always ready to explore new places and discover new things. Ryan, on the other hand, was more calm and thoughtful. He liked to spend time thinking about complicated questions and solving puzzles. One day, as they were walking in the fields, Emma saw a strange flower that she had never seen before. She picked it and showed it to Ryan, who immediately understood that it was a very rare and precious flower. They decided to go in search of other flowers like this one, hoping to find enough to create a beautiful and unique bouquet. They started their quest, walking through the fields and forests nearby, looking carefully at every flower they saw. They walked for hours without success. But Emma did not want to give up. She was determined to find these rare flowers even if it meant they would have to search all day long. 
Ryan, on the other hand, began to lose patience. He thought their quest was pointless and that the flowers they were looking for might not even exist anymore. But he said nothing to Emma, not wanting to discourage her. Finally, when they were about to go back, Ryan saw a small white flower hidden under a bush. He showed it to Emma, who immediately understood that it was exactly the flower they were looking for. They started to look more carefully, looking under every bush and every stone. And finally, they found enough flowers to create a beautiful bouquet that was both rare and unique. They brought their find home where they arranged the flowers in a vase. The bouquet was beautiful. They were both amazed by their creation and decided to keep it as a souvenir of their adventure. They then went back to the fields to find more flowers and create a second bouquet. After a few days of searching, they had found enough flowers to create another bouquet. Each one then took a bouquet to offer it to their mom. 